On today's show, the Moto G, Snapchat gets a buyout offer, the PlayStation 4 launches, Sony roots for Nintendo, and card streamlining with coin. It's Buffalo Bulls in time. Hello, Internet, and welcome to the Buffalo Bulletin, where we recap five major stories from our site, technobuffalo.com, every Tuesday and Friday. If you're interested in reading more about any story I mention on the show, check the description below for links or click on the graphics for each story if you have annotations available and toggled on. I'm Ashley Eskeva. Here are your top stories. Motorola unveiled the Moto G this week, a mid-range device with a super compelling price tag. It's got a 4.5-inch 720p display, 1GB of RAM, a quad-core Snapdragon 400 processor, promises Android 4.4 KitKat in January, and starts at just $179 off contract. It's pretty obvious Google wants to get into the emerging markets game with this particular Moto, but it might even do well as a secondary device for travel and emergencies. We'll be keeping an eye on its sales as the Moto G launches around the globe. Snapchat in the news this week after reports of a crazy high buyout offer surfaced. Sources are saying Facebook offered $3 billion cash to purchase Snapchat, but Snapchat's CEO, Evan Spiegel, was not having it. That's three Instagrams for those of you playing at home. Oh, and did we mention Snapchat doesn't even have a revenue stream right now? Turning down Facebook is a bold move. We'll see if it ends up paying off for them. Over in gaming, it's PlayStation 4 day. Sony fans around the globe lined up last night to buy the newest PlayStation, or I guess pick them up if you're talking about pre-orders, and we're revving up our gaming coverage to match the next-gen console fever going around. We're reviewing everything, the console, the games, the controllers. But don't worry, Xbox One fans, your day is fast approaching, and then the next-gen console wars will truly begin. Did you decide on a PS4, an Xbox One, or maybe even a Wii U? Or maybe you're getting all three consoles, you baller you. Speaking of the Wii U, this week the president of Sony Worldwide, Shu Yoshida, said in an interview that while Nintendo is competition, in a way they're training the PlayStation buyers of tomorrow. And because of that, Yoshida wants them to succeed. He went on to say he thought Nintendo's Wii U launch message was too focused on core gamers and not family friendly like the original Wii, but that Nintendo seems to be coming back around to where they should be focused. Some very smart and honest words from Mr. Yoshida. And lastly, our wildcard story for the week is a startup promising to consolidate all your debit, credit, gift, membership, and other cards into one single device. The startup is called Coin, and it's touting a connected card and an app for you to add your cards to. The idea is pretty interesting and worth checking out, but we're curious to see if it catches on outside the U.S. where the chip card is already the norm. That's the Buffalo Bulletin for today. If you enjoyed the show, a thumbs up would be super awesome of you. And if you want more great Techno Buffalo video content, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking this giant subscribe button. See you guys next time.